If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how to prepare and what to expect from Team of the Week promo. If you guys didn't already see, or the weekly content, I should really call it. If you guys haven't seen my other video from today, I did go over my Team of the Week predictions and players and kind of a little walkthrough of it. But this video, of course, is going to be me pretty much showing you. Ooh, Jamal Adams power up. Going to be showing you guys exactly how the breakdown actually works that's the difference is that a lot of people watch that video and kind of get it but team of the week is a specific breakdown for people who have never played before you may not understand how it works how they typically time things how they do it when they release them right so i'm gonna go through everything what to expect on tuesday every week but before we get into the video guys first poodle squad shout out goes out to mythical dragon gaming shout out to me for being a part of the poodle squad thank you so much for showing support each and every day if you guys need to the channel hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell Give this a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you guys need coins, head over to my sponsor down below. They do have the cheapest coins on the internet, legitimately. And of course, you can get them for under 50 bucks with my, with my uh, coupon code. So make sure you check that out. But yeah, here's the thing, guys. Team of the Week, if you guys don't already know, it's a NFL season-esque promo, right? And it leads all the way up to Team of the Year. If you guys know what this is, again, I'm going to break it all down for you. So Team of the Week works like this. Every single Tuesday after the final day of the, of the week, right? So the week starts on a Thursday. It ends on Monday Night Football tuesday we do get the players in game now how does it work guys are monday night players included i'll go through all that so here's the thing so every tuesday we're gonna get the drop the way tuesday works is like this every morning on tuesday they're gonna probably have a stream and they'll reveal most if not all the team of the week players and then around one two o'clock depending on delays and everything they will actually go ahead and drop the players so Team of the Week is one of the few promos that actually do release pretty late in terms of like promos. It's going to be like 1 to 2 o'clock. Could they change that this year? It's possible, but I doubt it. Around 2 o'clock, you'll see the in-game messaging. You'll see the packs go live. Now, Team of the Week packs, guys, are very similar to like promo-esque packs, like kickoffs. Like you pretty much open them. You don't really expect to pull the full player. Typically, you're just going to pull a lot of pieces, which you can put into sets to create the full player. It's kind of similar to that. Could you pull them? Yes, but it's more like one of those promo-esque packs where you pull a lot of the lower stuff more commonly than you pull anything else. And then, stop with that. Then there's going to be there's gonna be weekly solos where you can get power-ups. You can get um, 76 plus overall team of the week packs. And it's going to be, guys, it's going to be very similar to how Ultimate Kickoff is pretty much set up in terms of the packs and everything. And then, of course, when it comes to solos, it'll be very similar to the reward. So more than likely, you won't get an 80. You won't get a top player. Team of the week's never been like that. But if you're lucky, you have to play the solo for a token. Now, I'll get into the token in a second. But it's going to be similar to these rewards right here. Like you'll, you'll go into the solos and you'll get like 76 plus overall players. Um, that could be the top piece, that could be the lowest piece, either way it goes into the set. You only get like one or two because it's a very short solo sequence. And I imagine they're going to add strategy cards to it this year, so you'll get plus one speed just for Team of the Week players. It just seems likely that's how they've been doing it all year, so that would be pretty cool. And I wonder if it'll fall into the ultimate kickoff spot or if it'll get its own spot just for promo players, which could inc encourage you to use promo players, right? Instead of just using your power to players that you already have. So that'll be that. Next, in terms of that, guys, you also want to be playing your Team of the Week with solos every week. And I cannot stress this enough. Please take this advice as heavily as you can. You do not want to miss your Team of the Week solos. If you guys didn't already know, Team of the Week solos do add up throughout the year to get you a free, like, 95-plus player. And I will show you exactly how that works over here. So, similar, guys, to the Legend solos, which give you the Legend tokens. You have to collect 40 of them. Team of the Week does the exact same thing. So, we go over to Legends. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you go to Exchange. Right here, as you guys see, you have to play solos weekly to get your tokens to throw them in. Now, I do have more tokens. I believe I just have to add them in. So, you have to collect them. And at the end of the year, you know, like February, whenever the weeks add up, you will get a Nat Boss Legend. So, Team of the Week does something very similar. You have to play every week. And you guys don't want to miss any weeks. If you guys are lucky, EA will give you guys, like, a makeup, a make right kind of thing where they let you get, like, they, they drop solo challenges right when Team of the Week drops to make up two tokens. But that means at most you can miss two. And you're going to miss two anyways. Because think about it, right? It's going to be Thanksgiving weekend. You might go on a trip, uh, vacation to see your family, one of your Xbox. You're going to miss that Team of the Week solos. You'll forget. You'll be busy. There's going to be a week where maybe you don't feel too well. Maybe you're feeling under weather and you don't play Madden. There's going to be a week where you're so busy at school or college or finals that you can't even focus on the game and you completely miss one. That's already a few tokens missed. It's going to be Christmas Eve, Christmas week. Maybe you go away for that too. Halloween, if you're younger, you know, you're trick-or-treating and you're doing stuff. Maybe you don't focus on it that week either. Maybe, you know, weather, maybe you lose power for a week. There's going to be so many ways you could lose tokens. My best bet, guys, don't say, okay, I can miss the first two weeks so I have more makeups. Don't assume there's makeups because there should be, but don't assume it. Second, play as much as you can. So at least at the end of the year when you get the makeups, they usually quick sell. You can quick sell those for like 10K, 15K, put them into an exchange set. Usually they give you a way to use them or you still don't have to even use them. You can just have your tokens and be happy you got them done, right? So make sure you guys are doing that. 
make sure you guys are playing your solos weekly when they do drop tomorrow usually have from tuesday to tuesday in between that time period to play them and trust me everyone holds them to tuesday morning or monday night so make sure you guys play them as soon as they drop make it easy on yourself and of course you can pull 76 plus overall so now i've seen people pull like full team of the weeks i've seen if they only if they only do 76 to 85 then okay you can pull a top piece which can either give you coins or you can put an exchange so you know there's so many things you can really do with that but that's about it for the team of the week s like how, how does the scheduling work again monday night after right before monday night football usually they'll reveal on twitter like one or two players and then expect monday morning they reveal the whole thing on stream and then around one to two o'clock you should see the in-game messaging and the promo should go live that's kind of how that's going to work weekly now how do they actually select team of the week players now guys this is just last year okay in years past it was pretty simple there was an offensive defensive hero from the week like who were the best two offensive defensive players then there was the ltd the ltd was like who was the best of everyone right so there was the best player overall and then the best defensive and offensive player after that so let's say like Russell Wilson had a record-breaking game. He get the LTD, and then Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill had a really good game. So they pick one of the two for offense. So they gave it to Tyreek Hill, and then defensively, Von Miller had you know three sacks and a fumble. Then they gave him the defensive one. Right, all current. Last year they changed it up and they made it so it was with legends and less about current players. So the way it works now, well, still a lot of current players, but less. There's more legend oriented than there was in the years past. So the way it works now, this is the format. There's an LTD current player, a current hero, two legend heroes. And like six lower set guys, which is like those low overall ones, which they did end up incorporating to a power up expansion, which I'll get into. So what's important here to note, guys, is that the LTD current player, let's break it down. The LTD current player is a player who still currently plays in the NFL that had a breaking, a record breaking performance or a great performance in years past. So for instance, would um, Larry Fitzgerald be eligible for this? He's a current player, right? No, he retired. So he will now be in the legend set. He will not be able to make it into the current player, even though he had like... Larry Fitzgerald could have 300 yards in week, you know, and it has to be the same week, by the way. So it'll be week one, 2019, week one, 2018, week one, 2020, week one, 2004. So per week. So every week that it adds, you're going to be looking at that week to find it. So that's how you can kind of check. Now, let's say Larry Fitzgerald had 600 yards, right? And in, in week one of 2017, doesn't matter. He retired, not eligible anymore. So the limited time current player could be a guy, for instance, like let's say Russell Wilson, once again, had 400 yards and six touchdowns week one of 2018. He would be eligible to get the limited time current day player. Again, this is based off last year. They could change this if they do. But again, it will be probably similar, at least maybe. Um, then the current here. The current here is going to be the best player pretty much from that week. That's going to be the best player, defensive or offensive. So let's say Kyler Murray had, again, this week he had, you know, he had like 300, 400 yards and he had five touchdowns. Or let's say Tyreek Kill had like 200 yards. They would give one of those two guys the top player, Chandler Jones, with five sacks. Let's say Chandler Jones. They'll give Chandler Jones the five sacks. He'll be the defensive hero. He'll be one overall less than the LTD, and he'll be a set player. So you'll be able to do the set to get him. Then there's going to be the two legend heroes, which is pretty much just like the current day hero, but offensive and defensive one, and they can no longer play in the NFL. So let's say um, Randy Moss back in 2007 had a four touchdown performance in 300 yards. He would be eligible to get the card because he no longer plays. Let's say RG3, right? Would he count? I don't believe so. I believe he's still a free agent. I don't know if it's a, like an official retirement or anything. So again, he would not count no matter how good of a flashback that he had. He'd be more eligible for flashback or veteran cards. Now, again, let's say a running back, Marshawn Lynch. He would be eligible for a legend offensive player, right? Very simple. There'll be an offensive and legend defensive that they retired already. They could have even retired in 2020, but they're still eligible, right? Next, lower set guys. Lower set guys will be about like probably six to eight of them, depending so lower set guys, I said this week, Debo Samuel had a really good week. Uh, James Winston, Jalen Hurts, Tyree Kill, Dre Greenlaw. These are guys who got really good weeks, but maybe don't qualify for the hero because they were someone slightly better or they picked someone else. Now, the beauty of these guys, they used to just be like low overall, you know, green team of the week cards. You're like, what do you do with these? Last year, they made them more like collectibles and less about players. Pretty much if a player gets this card, that means their overall is going up. So their power up gets a power up expansion. Now to explain what I mean to you, if we go to Binder, which is what I really liked that they added, because they would drop like an 86 Saquon Barkley. And you're like, well, I have an 89 Saquon Barkley. What was the point of this? It doesn't even go into power ups. Now, pretty much if you see the car gets a low set piece, expect that it's a good thing. So let's say you have Saquon Barkley. You're hoping that he gets a low team of the week player, because if he does, his overall actually will go up. So if we come over to upgrades, right? Right now, he can only get up to a 90 overall. And you can see his final upgrade is right here in this corner spot, right? Tier eight. If he gets a low team of the week card, that means that his, his power up will be expanded plus one overall, which means that he can get even better. And this is a great way for two things. It's a great cars don't get upgrades like they'll get like one or two upgrades throughout the year. And then you got to hope that they get anything else near the end game. So pretty much you can use the Saquon for like a month or two and then you might be phased out for a while to the next card. This actually helps us uh, like fill that gap. So let's say uh, Saquon's getting kind of on the slower side because everyone's getting 92 speed. He only has like an 89, 90. Now that um, these power up expansion will give him a plus one overall, might give him a 91 speed make it a bit closer 91 speed maybe they'll, they'll knock him into thresholds 
and it's just a cool way for them to really upgrade cards throughout the year without actually having to drop a whole new card or put them into a promo because it's stupid to have an 89 saquon then drop a 90 saquon right that's just dumb so you gotta wait till overalls like at 94 95 to really drop the next one right so this is a great way to do that so like let's say uh you know jalen hurt let's say tyree kill gets a card this week he has 90 you know that free mcs one that we have luckily this will give his power up a plus one and that'll even increase him but that pretty much wraps up team of the week that is everything that there is about team of the week to go over if you guys have any questions ask them down below any more specific questions that you can't get answered here dm me on twitter i'm always, they're always open over there and of course my follow link and everything will be down below in the description if you guys need coins you know what to do and of course shout out to the pool squad member if you guys want to be shouted out like the video be subbed with nodi bell on and of course comment down below pool squad Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.